60 days in, new participants enter Clark County Jail, episode one. Let's run it. The following program contains language, violence, and sexual content that may be disturbing to some viewers. Why are they meeting up in like the scariest looking drug deal spot possible? <laughs> it's like this warehouse in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> like what the fuck? It just looks like some sketchy shit's going down. I don't know you, you don't know me. Thank you, there's your stuff, yours. So they keep them undercover, right? And the, they only have one fucking cop that's in on it. So they take them into prison and everybody else in the actual jail prison thinks that they're real inmates. Dude, I would never do this. I don't give a fuck. I'm doing whatever I can to stay out of prison. I don't care if I got to go under, if I'm do, do, trying to do some undercover shit, I will never be interested in going in. Okay, first of all, she looks like she is scared shitless, which I understand, but you got to kind of know what you're getting yourself into, right? I feel like you can't walk into prison showing that you're scared right away, right? I feel like you got to have some type of alpha fucking attitude and which isn't too pushy either <laughs> dude you walk into prison that's the first fucking thing you hear that is not a good initiation bro i'd be fucking out i'd be like okay guys i can't i don't think i can do this right now maybe later but not right now anymore my name is ryan i'm 27 years old and i'm from kentucky i joined the u.s army specifically the army reserves oh dude he's an army reserve so he's used to being in like a little like area with a bunch of guys like that so you know what usually the army people that get put into shows like this do really well because they know how to adapt to like different situations i'm feeling um there's a little bit of uh, anticipation dude is that the bed oh this is the bed you get <laughs> oh wait okay so when you get into prison you get this little thin fucking piece of shit bed you get a roll of toilet paper i can't tell this is probably it's got to be one towel there's no way they give you two one towel this is the blanket where's the pillow I, I think i'm in shock of how this whole process is the only way i can describe no it way you're like crying already like holy fuck look at this lady oh my god dude <laughs> she looks like the fourth kind like she just came down from a UFO and she's ready to like probe me or something. Chief Jones gonna bring in a Mona Lisa and Quentin. Okay, next couple people coming in My now. My name is Quentin. I'm a retired state policeman, bounty hunter, private investigator. Oh, he's gonna be good. I don't even care. Look, at dude, he's gonna, he, you know what? He's gonna go in there and be the fucking pod boss. He's gonna run the shit. He's a bounty hunter? Yo, wait! Maybe he put half those people in that place. So maybe he's not all right. There could be some crazy shit that's gonna happen. I'm Mona Lisa and I am what? about to go to jail. Like the fucking painting thing? Leonardo, what's his name, DiCaprio? Wait, Leonardo, Leonardo uh, Da Vinci. Yeah, yeah, Da Vinci. Da Vinci? Mona Lisa's daughter was incarcerated at the age of 18. She is serving a 10 year mandatory minimum sentence. So she's doing this for her daughter, basically. She wants to see like what her daughter's going through. Ryan has been called to transfer from holding to classification. Classification is short-term holding for inmates until they're grouped by charges in criminal history. So they t they literally group them in how literally how bad their fucking charge is. So the murderers kind of go here. The fucking what's like a small like offense? Yeah, murderers go here, and then people who ran the stop sign. A man, dude, you gotta go in there and you gotta find a place to sleep. Oh, dude, that's so bad. I'm picking the, I'm picking up the farthest corner under the staircase or some shit. Wait, no way. Okay, that's really weird that he's going under the staircase. I was, I don't, I've never seen this before. You see people coming from in front of you and to the left of you, and you're less likely to get ambushed. I would be good in prison then. I just that's why that's why I would do that. That's that's originally my idea of that why I said that. Cuz uh am, the ambush the ambush wouldn't come from the one way. That's why I said that. It is the most wretched. Damn, foul, she found someone. What is dirty, that? Disease infested. Oh! Ew. Oh! 
Okay. Hey, listen. This ain't going to be the cleanest place in the world. All right? So expect to see fucking hairballs. People coughing up lungs and shit. You guys literally told me that women are way more gross than men when it comes to, like, a bathroom. So, I, uh, hey, this could be proof. This could be visual proof. Walking dead guy. Fucking, uh, what's his name? Walking dead dude. Daryl! It's him, dude! Go have seat DT1 over there. <laughs> I th bro, I thought that said male dunk tank. <laughs> I was like, yo, bro, you're gonna give me the you're gonna give me the baseball, I'm gonna hit the fucking dunk tank. I was like, dude, jail seems fun, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, jail doesn't jail's not fun, guys. At least the women's isn't fun, okay? The men's, it's got a dunk tank. But I do know that's my enemy. I agree, dude. She's way too nosy right off the bat. She's going in like, I'm gonna find out everything they do to my daughter. You gotta go in with an open mind. I'm gonna figure out what's going on. She's going in like that. I don't like the COs. Yeah, okay, you'd be nosy, but she's going in like crossing her arms and like... She looks like she's gonna be the Karen of the pod. And now... Holy fuck. It's like just... Holy shit. What the fuck is that? After a day in classification, Sherry is being transferred to F-Pod. She's the first participant to enter a pod. Oh, shit. This is my home away. Bro, wait. Why, how are they smoking in there? I'm so confused, bro. Is this prison or is this a summer camp? We've never had a participant take a cell on the top tier. The inmates on the top tier are more veteran and seem to be the troublemakers. So they're sending her up to the top. They're literally throwing her to the wolves. Literally. I'd hate to be stared at. Yeah, you walk in there, you're the new fresh blood. Everybody's fucking staring at you. They're they're literally like eyeballing you down, getting the entire read on who you are. Kind of a little spacey. What the fuck? Uh. Mackenzie is in Clark County Jail on drug charges. Oh, here she comes. By the time I was 16, I was addicted to meth and I was cooking meth. I'd be like, all right, well, this was nice. I'm gonna go into the fucking, I'm gonna go into the other pod. Okay, hopefully there's a bunk bed over there that's open. When I first came in, it was like the most eerie feeling that I've ever had. Holy fuck, dude. You guys know those little troll dolls? The little ones where they're like, and their fucking hair goes up like that. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Dude, she's she's going to be the one that, like, runs on all fours through the pod. This is so disgusting. I've never seen anything like that. That was, like, some stuff that you would see in a foreign country. I would have never expected American jails to look like that on the inside. What do you mean? Have you never seen a show or a movie about prison? What do you? What is she saying? Like, it's a surprise or something. That prison's dirty. Oh my God, no way! It's disgusting. That if nothing else, I'll say disgusting. The prison Karen is at it already. Day one, literally, she's not even in her pod yet and she's Karen at a, Karen, Karening? Is that a, is that a term? She's Karening. God damn, look at the tattoos, bro. We all know what these teardrops mean, right? We all know what the teardrops mean. What the fuck does that mean? This is like teardrop on steroids type shit. Okay, you got some corn on the cob. That looks like cornbread or like some biscuit. That looks like a chicken Sammy. Ryan is called for transfer. He's been assigned to D-Pod. D-Pod's one of our most active sections. It's an animal kingdom in here. They're, they're putting him into the worst pod. Oh, shit. Dude, dude, look at them all staring. You walk into prison and this is what you're greeted with, bro. That's actually crazy. This, bro. They're already talking shit about him. <laughs> He's a bitch, man. Everybody has a look and a feel to them when they walk around. And I don't fit that at all. What are you trying to say? Just because I have tattoos, I look like a prisoner? Mm -hmm. No, honestly, bro, if I was assigned to D-Pod, I would walk in. Remember that scene from Toy Story? Okay, don't make a Sid joke, chat, you dumb fuck. Remember that scene from Toy Story where Woody pops through the box and he's like, and he like flicks his hat? You guys remember that shit? Hey! Not drawing money from the military? 
no job, no months of employment. No money or job. They questioned me rapidly, like, who's this? Where's that? Where's this other oh. thing? I've kind of been there. So prove you got to be on your shit. You got to know your story. You got to live that second life. They're on to him. I know they well, they, that, that's the thing is anybody could be a snitch, right? Anybody could be undercover. So they want to get to know him as soon as fucking possible if they're going to be living in there. You're in the military for eight years and you got all these degrees, but you don't make enough money to where you don't have to steal from Oh the my God, they're on to his shit. They're on his ass. They are on his ass and he's in deep pod. Dude, they already know. How do they know already? What is she doing? Sherry has placed her pin number in her bra, but is having trouble. Oh my God. Dude, that looks so sus. Don't dig in your tits like that. Don't be doing that. I mean, like, you want us to respect you, but you don't respect us. I just don't get oh that. Oh my God. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Guys, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, it's going to get worse. Please, you need to quit hit the button, all right? It's for medical emergencies only. Do not hit that button anymore. You get locked down. <laughs> Inmates suspect Sherry's hiding something in her bra. She's fucked. They presume she's high, dude? No, now the drug addict is gonna go fucking ask her for drugs, and if she doesn't deliver drugs, then she's gonna get killed in her sleep, and she's not gonna make it past night one. They've convinced themselves that I've got heroin, of all things, on me. I, <laughs> what I, the fuck? I am just so in shock. They think that she had heroin in there. Wow, dude. You're making yourself a target. Why would she not take out her thing in her own room out of her fucking tit or wherever it was before going down there and digging in the shit? Okay, so Ryan is settling down in D-Pod, but rumors continue to circulate that he is a plant. Dude, people are literally already assuming that he is. That is so quick. They can sniff that shit out. Plant. Yo, he called him a fucking plant to his face. Bro, watch him, boy. Got Bro, at that point, I'd just be like, all right, guys, I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. They're on to me. I'm out. I wouldn't even want to fucking even try to battle to... Because I'm not a prisoner, right? So I wouldn't even want to try to convince them that I'm a real prisoner if I'm not. Okay, you guys are on to me. Okay, I'm leaving. Okay, I'm going to go home now. Get Chick-fil-A, too. Ashley, Ashley, in the room. Brenda, the pod boss, calls for a meeting in her cell. So Brenda is the one that runs the shit. Sherry is called a Brenda cell. So what makes her the pod boss? Why, why does everyone just like all of a sudden listen to Brenda? How is she the fucking level 100? Brenda calls Sherry and Mackenzie behind the curtain. One of the most dangerous places in the jail is behind the curtain. It blocks the limited visibility that we have in the cells. And usually that's where the inmates go to fight. Oh! Yo! Wait, no! No, dude! No! Four of the eight participants are inside the jail. Okay, so we've gone through four. There's gonna be four more after this. See what I mean, guys? She thinks they think she has she's like hiding drugs, which she's obviously not, because she is one of the people that is undercover. So she, there's no way she's hiding drugs. Back up, bitch. I'll kill you. And then that's where it cut off. Okay, Brenda, the pod boss, confronts Sherry and Mackenzie about the rumors that Sherry is hiding drugs. Damn, they're Next fighting back know. there. They're beating Mackenzie down. Wait, 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 she made it out? Wait, they're fighting the, the, drug, ad, the drug addict that lives with her upstairs? They're fighting her? <laughs> wait, I thought, okay, hold on. My heart got twisted. Every part of my CEO in me was like... Wait, dude, wait. So now her roommate is going to think that she snitched on her and now the roommate is probably gonna hunt her down and now we got some beef so ryan has spent three days in d pod trying to blend in with fellow inmates it's been three days already and he he's not looking good they think that just because i don't look like the typical prisoner i don't talk like the typical prisoner that i seem very suspicious what is that lasagna or pizza something dude maddie that is such a good point that's such a good point his story to begin with was not even good part of his story was the fact that he went to college graduated he was in the army and then told them that he robbed a bank you gotta think these inmates are, are thinking like dude you have a degree and you went to the army you gotta have some form of payment why are you robbing shit 
Oh yeah, fake ID, fake ID. He's being questioned by Garza. Inmate Garza, he's highly educated. He's college educated. He figures things out very quickly. He was cool. I like that. A lot of people think he was a plant. I don't think they're actually putting a real plant here. Wait, so he's backing him up? Oh, shit. Okay, hold on. He said they kept him booking, fucking shipped him straight here. Wait, so he's actually on his side. I feel like if he was against, yeah, if he was against him, that would have been really, really bad for him. So now that he has somebody kind of like in the group that is defending him a little bit already, I think it's good. Ew, dude. Ew. I hate watching them clean up their cells and shit. It's actually so gross. Yeah, you'll stay here until being transferred to F pod. Wait, she's being transferred to F pod. The other girl's in F pod. So they're both gonna be in the same pod together? Sleeping on this hard wow. met metal wood, so it's not kind of cool at all. Oh, I see. Okay, so you got the metal shit, and then you get you get this little thin mattress that you're supposed to put on there. I got it now. I'm the type of guy that could fall asleep at, like on anything. I'm weird, man. I really am weird. I could fall asleep on the floor. I could fall asleep on like the fucking concrete for some reason. I could just fall asleep anywhere. I'm not saying that I would wake up comfortable. Like my back and neck would be fucked up or something. But I'm weird that I can, I can do that. <laughs> Dude, look at this shit. Brenda, the pod boss, has just beaten up Sherry's cellmate, Mackenzie. <laughs> Okay, this entire time, she is walking around holding her fucking collar. Can you get a grip, lady? They didn't beat you up. You need to fucking settle down. But I still think Jesse should get it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, my God. Jesse, you're getting summoned. Put your fucking orange slides on and get down there. No way they're just going to jump her like this, bro. If you show another clip of her going like this, I'm going to get pissed. All right. Oh! Oh, they're going at it. If anything, I thought I was getting hit. I had never imagined watching Jesse get beat down. Look what she's doing again, bro. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yo, look at her hair, bro. I expected maybe a couple. That place sucks. Oh my god, it sucks. Lady. Holy yeah. Do we think she is lasting three months? Or wait, 60 days? Two months? Do we think she's lasting two months? Is this like, did I just like get welcomed in? Like, am I good? Like, what? Is this real? Yo, they're recruiting her? No way she's getting recruited right now. If you need help moving your stuff, I got, I got a moving team. Yeah. I have to go there yeah. and get your stuff, and I'll take it to What the fuck? Yo, this is the craziest plot twist. I thought she was getting her ass beat, dude. And now she's part of the team, and she, the pod boss, is making everybody grab her shit to bring it down. I'm excited to see the, the beef between her, Sherry, the plant, right? And the, the druggy roommate that she had. Because now they're not going to be good after this. They're plotting. She needs to be worried about who's going to be getting jumped next. Who's going to be getting hit. That's what I'm saying. There's beef brewing. Hey, chat. It's going to get good. So, so this is what they use to like order shoes and like food and like special treatment. If you got money outside of prison, you use these little things. I think this is, this is how you order outside shit. What's it called? It starts with a C, right? Commissary. Yeah, I almost said contraband. That would, that would not have been the right word. C-Pod's almost full, and a lot of inmates in there have drug-related charges. Okay. It's a bit unpredictable, and the pod can be hostile. Quentin's oh, a big guy. Shit. We're confident he can handle it. What, what was that? What did that guy think he was going to do? Quentin's a big guy. Did he just miss? <laughs> that better have been a play fight, bro. Holy fuck! Chameleon! He's like that bug that changes colors with the environment. What? <laughs> do you know what I'm do you know what I'm getting from this? This guy right here 
is probably gets bullied all the time and he's trying to make friends with the new big guy that just came in <laughs> so he's like hey man i'm gonna give you a place to sleep if you, you gotta defend me in a fight i feel like that's what's going on we got new people coming in newbies yep. his whole life changed my life changed our whole family changed Okay, I like when there's family that, that like ties to it. I, I can understand wanting to go into prison to experience what a family member went through. My name is Brian. I'm an attorney for the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation. Dude, I can already tell this guy's gonna have some issues, man. People say don't judge a book by its cover, but just straight up. I'll take your belongings. Sergeant Free's gonna place you in handcuffs. What's her story? I feel like I've seen this girl too. Where have I seen her? Ashley is the new mother and the wife of Zach, a former participant. Yo, that's how I know it. She's the wife of the of Zach from season one. That's how I know. Wow. So he got back, he made it out and was like, yo, babe, you gotta go try this shit. <laughs> I don't give a fuck what my baby looks like, bro. If that shit is dripping from his nose and mouth. Oh my God. Thank you for the birth control of the day. <laughs> Yo, it's gross. And then the mom will like kiss him on the mouth and shit when it looks like that. Disgusting. It's fucking disgusting. Oh, oh, oh look at them. They're fucking squatted up. They're playing trios going into the prison. That one there. That one there. It's about that time you're here. I need to talk. What the fuck? That guy's an animal. What did he just say? <laughs> Any prisoner that's sticking his hand out like that, it would be so tempting to just, you know what I mean? Like fucking whack a mole. Like he's, and I'm like, Ugh. take the right one off. Yeah. Shoot me in the face. Next to <laughs> What? Go what? He's got the matching skin with his outfit. That's crazy. The same tint and everything. <laughs> he just got squirted with the hand sanitizer, dude. God, she always looks angry, bro. Always angry. Like, what, like, hey, my bad. I feel like I should be saying sorry for something I didn't do whenever she looks at me. Mona Lisa's name has been called for the transfer to F-Pod. Here we go. What is about to happen now? When I first walked in, I was mean mugging because I, I wanted to make sure that there's no confusion about whether or not I'm a wuss. Just don't come to me, don't step to me, and I won't step to you. It's a good play. I, I got to give it to her. I know she's a Karen. I know we've been giving her shit this whole time. It's a good play, though. I like it. It's crazy, man. They're they're happy like it's a summer camp. Like they haven't seen each other since last summer, and then they're finally back, and they're like, "Oh, there you are again. Good to see you." <laughs> yo, look at her face. <laughs> yo, yo, she's crazy. Oh shit. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! Late at night, a fight. A wait. Late at night, a fight erupts over noise disturbances in C pod. Oh my god! He smacked the old man. Oh, here we go! Here we go, Jet! Damn. Okay. You know what, bro? You know what, bro? Let the old guy get his swings in, right? Tire him out a little bit. You don't gotta hit the old guy. You don't, you really don't have to. Let him get his built up anger out. He's old as fuck, you know what I mean? Cobwebs, all that. Dust flying off. Nice fight, man. Oh my God! Oh shit! Oh my, yo! Buddy, what are you doing? They really want to know every single detail about what happened, where you were, where you're from. You better have that shit down pat. Because if you fuck up once, they know that shit. That's such a stress. You got to worry about going in. Well, I feel like I'm being interrogated right now. Are you <laughs> yeah. Oh, 
what is she doing? Oh, I don't know. Very, very interesting technique there. The reverse psychology. Oh, you're a cop, maybe. Oh my God. Wait, they're all going to F pod? Wait, all the girls are gonna be in the same one? Did she have an iPod with headphones? She has an iPad? What the fuck? Oh no, wait, 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 wait. Is this, this is like the, the loading screen. This is like the lobby, right? Before they even go into their place. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I guess. Be like upstairs, downstairs. So the new girl Ashley comes in and she gets welcomed with open arms. I'm a little confused because I'm Yeah, because she didn't go in looking like this. The fuck do you expect? You know what I mean? All three female participants are an F pod. None of them are aware of each other. See, that's the weird thing is that they're probably going to communicate at some point. They have to. Like, their their stories are going to just conflict. It's going to be weird. Having somebody like Brenda, who is a big girl, and she clearly runs the bottom pod, it's kind of relief on my end to know that she, she likes me. That is kind of nice. She's still salty as fuck. She, she's pissed. She got her friend taken and her ass beat because of her friend. Brenda, Sherry's main ally, is being transferred to... No! No way, dude, no. <laughs> her defense, her best friend. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Garza comes along and says, hey, do you want a room? And no it way. changes everything. Garza's cell is on the top tier of the pod. Participants have been warned that going upstairs is dangerous. Dude, so is this a trap? Or is he actually trying to be friends with him here? Oh, that's good, I guess, right? Damn. All right. Damn. I mean, it's her Were they checking her out like that? What the fuck? One more time. Just one more time. You got to show her. Look, look, this one. This one more time. Just the last time. I don't need to stand up, bro. There's no reason for me to stand up right now. You guys know, hey, I was on the treadmill today in the gym and I've actually, I've, I've put the speed up too fast and I, I rolled my ankle, bro. Chow. Chow. Dude, they say chow like they're fucking animals <laughs> coming out of their cages to come eat. That's what they treat them like. That's crazy, like chow, here boy, here boy. Sherry, Mona Lisa, and Ashley all believe that they're the only program participant in the pod so they think they're alone in this entire thing when in reality three of them are in the same one i'm trying to blend at this point i don't want to do the wrong thing let me just kind of roll with this stop showing this part this part sucks i need to call my husband he has actually already been through the same program that i am doing and he did amazing No way. <laughs> Yo. Oh my God. Imagine getting one phone call a day and the one person you call doesn't pick up. Dude, that's so fucked up. Yeah, you've mentioned also to me the unwritten rules of like, you know, somebody calls you a bitch. You've got to do something. Oh, that's a word. Yeah, you don't use that word. I, I don't know. No, if somebody calls you a bitch, you have to do something where people are like, man, you're just going to take that. Maybe you are. <laughs> I've actually heard about that. That's the key word in prison, or I guess jail in this instance. But if you walk up to someone and call them a bitch, it's literally jail, unwritten rule that they have to fucking fight you. It's like you're basically going up and punching him in the fucking face. You might as well do that. Dion's originally from Detroit, Michigan, and so we're, we're putting him in on an armed robbery charge out of Wayne County. They're putting more they're people in? Dion is the eighth and final participant. I'm Dion. I'm 24 years old from Detroit, Michigan, and I'm about to go to jail. Dude, he's he's too much of a pretty boy. <laughs> I feel like he's going to get rocked by the huge big motherfucker that's just horny as hell. You know what I mean? He's got he's too he's too pretty boy. And the home of the Yo, he 
actually hit those notes. That was pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, dude. If he wasn't in prison, he'd probably be singing for like the local fucking MLB team or something. What? What is this place? The dunk tank! Oh my Yo! The dunk tank! This man in here needs some electro lights. Man in here needs some electro light. That's so fun to say. Electro lights. Chris and Brian entered the jail together. They're unaware that Dion is also part of the program. Uh, line up right there. This is L5. So they know that they're together, but they don't know that the guy in front of them is also in on it. Dude, this is such like an awkward elevator ride. <laughs> this is so awkward. This guy in general is awkward as fuck. Doesn't matter what scenario he's in, okay? But this guy, he already looks out of place though. <laughs> Still nervous. <laughs> What? He's basically telling her to go fucking steal somebody's mattress or fight somebody. Yo, they're literally egging this shit on. An argument has arisen between inmate Treshawn and Ryan cellmate Garza. No, Treshawn, you're not fighting Garza, bro. No, we like Garza. Oh, he used the keyword. The keyword was used. Go. Oh, come on! There they are. All right, who we think won the fight? We didn't get a good look that that well. We saw the beginning of it. Who do we think won the fight, bro? <laughs> oh, damn. Gars is kind of lit. Yo, Gars is kind of crazy. I kind of like Garza, bro. Oh, they're going again! Ryan puts on his shoes, a sign in jail that shows he's ready for a fight. Ryan! Does Ryan know that? There is no way he just- Check you out, man. Yeah, broke is that it? Just broke. Just broke. Just broke. Okay, who we think won the fight? I think Garza overall just takes that. Garza takes that. Even though he kind of- Even though he broke his fucking knuckle or whatever he did. I mean, Garza clearly got the forehead or the back of the head or something, dude. Dude, Ashley's trying to call her husband, Zach. If Zach does not answer for a second time, this is going to be a big issue. Sherry approaches Ashley. Oh, neither woman knows the others in the program. So, you know, this new girl, Ashley, you can tell it, it's been a night for her. You know, the look on her face, it reminds me of the look and the feelings that I had when I first came in. I Oh, I wonder why. Dude, there's no way you guys sniff each other out too. What the fuck is wrong with people? I'm paranoid right now. When you've got a girl who isn't in the right mind frame who is just glaring and mad at you, this is not a fun feeling. At that point, I'd be like, Mackenzie, what are you gonna fucking do, right? Looking at me for three days, what the fuck do you want? Like, Jesus, stop looking at me or do something. You know what I mean? Oh, shit. I didn't just go, go. Damn. Okay, well, I never said that. I, I hate Mackenzie. I just, I don't like her right now. I don't like her. I, I honestly, I liked her at the beginning when she was friendly, but ever since that, like, fight and everything, she is getting on my nerves, definitely. Inmate Mackenzie was pulled aside for swearing at a corrections officer. She has been ordered for an immediate transfer out of the pod. Oh! I don't <laughs> oh my god bro she's a, literally an animal this is an animal right there holy fuck did you hear that scream that is some shit i would hear in like a horror movie or a horror game damn i'm a medic in the army but i've never seen a broken hand that bad in my life really i saw the knuckle was literally missing and it was here oh oh 
god ew that like creeps me out to think about i don't know why something about the hand creeps me out bro i it's just I, I don't get it i don't know it's like the back of the hand fucking whatever is this guy like okay or what all right dude dude chris has been vomiting for eight hours he's having a really really tough time right now Whenever you do some weird shit like this, you know you're not like in your right head space, dude. If you feel like you're in need of help, that to the point of, I'm out of this program, take your towel, you'll put it around your neck, and you'll just walk around the day room. Ooh, he's gonna do the that. The thing you can keep saying is, I really miss good coffee. They give him code words and shit. That's really smart. That's really smart. He's about to rip the code word, isn't he? That's another keyword. When we hear that, you're out. There he goes. There he goes. What's going on? No, oh my God. No. Oh my God. We gotta wait for the next one. Oh my God. Show it again. Get him out. I held on as long as I could. I don't care anymore. They made no attempt to provide medical assistance. This man could. That was fucked up, by the way. That was, he looks like he's just that's not he looks like a demon but dude that's fucked up how they don't have medics like right away oh my god dude how can he get out of this what could this man possibly do to convince the prisoners that he's a tough guy i think it's too far gone in my opinion i think he's just done so and that's his reputation forever in there he is so lucky that he is not a real prisoner because he could just leave whenever he wants. I feel like that's the only reason he's not freaking the fuck out right now. Is that he knows he has that lifeline, right? Anytime he can walk around with a fucking towel around his neck. If I don't calm down, I'm going to do something and I'm going to end up here for a lot longer. That is true. Like I said, like if you get into some type of fight, I mean, I guess self-defense, it's all going to be like recorded. But you can't be the aggressor. So if she's the aggressor in the situation, she they're gonna keep her in prison. Like it's more as it's, it's gonna turn into 90 days. What's the name? American Horror Story thing on the Oh night. damn, you're right. This is the last episode. Yeah, what time will come on? 10. They get to watch American wait, they get to watch TV shows in there? There's TV show time? Wait a minute. I did not know that there's like scheduled TV shit. I just wanted to watch some Dude, look at his fingernails. You grimy fuck. Oh my God. That's disgusting. That is, ew. Those are claws. It looks like he's turning into a fucking werewolf at midnight. Look at, even he's looking at him like, God damn. Those things are long as fuck. One minute be good. Next minute. It'd be what do you, what, what do you think this guy's in for? Chat, what we think? <laughs> okay, God. You guys all at the same time said the same shit. I was gonna say that too, so I'm glad we're on the same page, bro. I was 13, got caught selling dope, and got caught with a gun. Motherfucker was 13 with a gun and drugs, bro. He's also going for the Wolverine look on the side of the head. The guy has it out for me. What's up, bro? <laughs> This is gonna be a battle, man. I don't even remember. What's his name? Chris? This is gonna be a battle. Chris versus Pod Boss. I wanna see him put in the middle of the fucking holding cell, you know, naked, no weapons. I wanna see what happens. Oh, his name's Brian. Who's Chris? I don't fucking know. It's just a name that popped into my head. I just, he looks like a Chris, bro. He looks like a Chris. Look at his face. He's a Chris to me. Three weeks in jail, Ashley struggles with not being able to nurse her baby. Wait, wait, women in the chat, I have a question. So, you know how like when you have a baby you get like milk in your tits if you don't nurse the baby can your tits explode from like overflow they get engorged and swell up it builds up they just go off like bombs what you guys literally have fucking frag grenades on your chest what 
Her tits are gonna explode! Oh. Bro, if you were about to die, what would your last meal be? Oh god, that's a good that's a good question for chat. Probably just off nice, perfectly cooked steak with mashed potatoes, like green beans. But then but but you could get a bunch of different shit though, right? I want I want a nice steak, fucking Fat one, fat one. I'm gonna eat the fat and everything. I don't give a shit because my body. I'm gonna. I'm about to die. Who cares? I'll probably have Mexican food. Yeah, I need some type of Mexican food. Little bites for sure. Carter's ass. Okay, Creech. Jesus. Does it take three months to smuggle a drug in? Small things like that. Inmates pass drugs through the pod doors. Wait, how the fuck are the pods connected to each other? And why is there a door? Wait, wh what? I'm loyal to anybody who's loyal to me, period. Hey, Chet, our boy Ryan is becoming a real inmate, dude. I don't think he wants to leave. <laughs> I think they might keep him in there. He, this guy's a little too scary now. He's on the inmate side. Overnight shift has only as two officers on duty overseeing. There's only two offers officers there's only two officers in the whole jail dude they could easily overthrow that shit are you fucking serious fuck a prison break irl brian is tested again no she locked up for you. oh god Oh God, the last thing he wanted to hear right there. Break open the e-cigs and take the little filter that's still got nicotine in them, and then they wrap it. What, bro, they know all the strategies for this shit. They're like little fucking engineers. Could be my chance to finally- get Wait, no way, she's snitching! No way! And pointing upstairs. Wait, dude, there is, there are so many outcomes here. There are so many outcomes. Oh no, this is really scary. She's ratting. All of them. I was literally dancing because I was so happy. This is by far the wow. best thing that has happened since I've been in here. Wait, and they're back? Literally three minutes later, the doors open. What? Bro, what the fuck is that punishment? Dude. The police just wanted a hit. <laughs> oh my. You know what? After that punishment, I believe it, bro. About to be a race right here, round blah. Blacks against whites. Please don't let this go down. Dude, tension is real. building. It was about to go down. No, no like way. Everyone's strapping up with their shoes. Everyone's getting strapped up now. I mean, I'm 40 years old. It's not like I've never been harassed. At the same time, this is someone who is in here for attempted murder. I have a feeling. <laughs> Look at him wave at him, dude. Secretly, Shekels hires a group of white inmates to beat up Jeremy in order to maintain control over the pod. What? Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> oh, don't end it there. There's got to be more. This the cop you got coming in to stop shit? This is the cop, bro. Chicken little looking at guy. You guys are just roasting him? They called Peter Pan to break it up. <laughs> Yo, guys, stop being mean to him, man. Hey. I mean, listen, to be fair. Okay, this guy, what are we doing here? What did I just pause on? Why is he? Brian. Dude, Brian, you got to get Sorry, the fuck up, buddy. There's some words you don't say, especially in the mail pod. You he called him a bitch. bitch. Ever. That comes out. Your I forgot. That's the fighting word, and he's not gonna do anything. What? No! I want to avoid a physical confrontation. It's not worth it. It's not that I can't take a hit or anything. So like what's that, he gonna do? But I can't do anything no! that would... No! He's looking for the towel! ...my ability to take care of my kids. Ah! Oh, yeah, he's doing the signal! Very tough to book people out on a Sunday at 6 a.m. without raising suspicion. Dude, he's just waiting? Dude, this guy's probably shitting his pants. What if he thinks the producers are, like, going against him right now? Oh, my God! Did you, I'll pack your stuff and come with me. Bye, Brian. 
What was that? Look at that haircut. Oh my God. The cut. The infamous. Holy fuck, the Karen cut. Wow. That's one of the best ones I've ever seen. It's got the shape. It's got the fluff. God damn, that's a master prestige. Platinum. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, bro, that's my tactic. If, if, okay, I gotta stop talking about myself going to prison. I'm not going to prison or jail, okay? But if I ever, so for some reason, end up in there and people are intimidating me, I'm gonna hit them with that laugh. <laughs> And that's, no one's gonna fuck with me after I do that shit. What happens if I strip naked and I do that? You know what I mean? When there's like a big person that's like trying to fuck with you. Remember when I, you guys all remember my tactic. If you guys are ever getting mugged in a dark alleyway or whatever, you know what I mean? You guys do this, okay? They're coming at you. You act like you're gonna fight. Get the fuck out of my face, okay? You act like you're gonna fight, right? You get ready and then you strip down naked. You get completely naked, and then you start like eating bugs off your like body and shit. And then, right? And then you start like fucking grabbing your ass, and, you're, and then you want to growl a little bit, like growl. I'm not gonna do the growl thing because people in chat are weird, right? And they always tell me to bark and growl. I'm not gonna do that, right? You do the growl thing, and then you hit them with a. <laughs> They're not fucking with you. Okay? There's a guy named Mingus in the pod. <laughs> Sick fucking name, buddy. <laughs> oh! Davron decides Mingus is guilty of not paying what he owes. Oh, chat, can we get a can we get an RIP? Let me get an RIP in the chat for Mingus, man. I'm just gonna say a quick prayer, Mingus. Amen. There you go. There's a prayer. They give you 20 lessons a piece. It'll be over in three minutes, man. Yeah. What are lashes? Oh my God. Chad, I don't know if my tactic would work in this situation. I feel like one of those wet towels would hit my dick or something. My fucking balls are, my dick and my balls are in fucking. Let me get a Wingus in the chat. Let me get a, you know what? I feel bad for talking shit about Mingus, okay? Let me get a Wingus. This dude just took that shit like an absolute animal and he's moving around and laughing about it right now. Hey, he's a tank. Y'all stop throwing that tell y'all. The next person that hit me is the ass straight up. Straight up! So we're allowing mm. some of the participants to receive contact visits with family members. Really? Sherry's husband, wait, wait, wait. We're getting family visits. Why are you here? I caught a charge. <laughs> Can I hug him? Hi. Oh. Ella in the chat goes, he kind of cute though. Ladies, what we think? Hey. Ladies. No? Maybe? Okay. I will circle back here at about when you say to me, I'm actually really enjoying my time in here. Segregation is not so bad. That means you're good to go to sleep. If you say, I wish I had good coffee, that means you're yeah. done. Okay. Oh, okay. Cool. What do we think he's doing? C-Pod or leaving? I think he, I think he's, I think he's going to leave. He doesn't know. C-Cod, C-Cod, C-Pod could be worse. Right? He has no idea. You tried to leave him with your mom for two hours and she was screaming for you to come back. They brought, they raised me. I think they did a pretty damn good job. So I'm sure if that's I'm not what saying it, they did a bad job. Oh my God. Oh my God. They're fighting again, dude. I hate this guy. I hate Zach. I hate him. I'm not attacking Sorry. you or anybody. You don't understand how really bad you can make someone feel sometimes. Dude, there's no way they stay together, bro. Yeah, why would you even talk about this shit on the phone? Dude, he's not even, like, checking in on her. She's having a fucking nightmare time in in the cell with the other prisoners, and he's not even, he doesn't even seem like he gives a fuck. I'm ready to be done. I'm ready to be done and go divorce and that motherfucker? Come on, come on. I just want some coffee and then get home, you know? God, Brian? Brian, you're a quitter. No, dude, he gave the signal. 
No. Hey, sweetheart, I have you on speakerphone. Hi, I'm glad you're calling me. D yeah, um, I'm out. You couldn't handle it? <laughs> oh, you can handle it? She you're a pussy. What if she said that? Oh my god, I wouldn't even be surprised. Hey, yo, man, grow the beard back. You look like a naked mole rat right now. What clicked to you when you said, hey, enough's enough, I gotta get out of here? Daffron called me a little bitch. And <laughs> at that point, I felt like if I didn't fight him then, then he was gonna find me and fight me later. <laughs> oh my God, dude. I can't, I can't take this guy seriously right now. When a situation like this occurs, we take quick action to correct it. So we're gonna go uh, split oh, two teams. Oh shit, the shakedown. We'll <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Wait, no, no. Oh my God, bro. Why do they do this? No. Oh man. The CERT or Correction Emergency Response Team has been sent in to extract inmates responsible for beating inmate Brian. They're gonna get our boy, the fucking pod boss. What's his name, Darion or something? Darren, Darren, Daffron. Dude, that's, that's a way worse name than what I said. When they take Daffron out, it's going to change everything. He's one of the heavy hitters in the pod. Wow. Mostly, I'm sitting here thinking, I just moved up drastically in this pod. Yo, he's trying to become the pod boss. He's trying to run the shit. He's going to become an actual inmate. I think he's addicted to the rank up. He wants to level up. You know, personally, I think Garza should be the pod boss. I want Garza to be the, the paw boss. I, I think he can run that shit pretty well. I know they get real cigarettes and marijuana. Dude, how? And they've gotten ecstasy and they all talk how? about their- How does that fucking happen? How do they get that shit in there to begin with, bro? Is it all people like coming in, in to visit that like sneak it in? There's no way there's that many people risking their shit. Candace, one of the inmates from the upper tier, approaches Sherry's table with some personal photographs. What? What does that even mean? Oh, dude, I thought she was gonna like expose nudes of like the other ones. Why is that where my brain went, bro? Is it bad that that's where my brain went? Is this motherfucker crying right now? Sherry, get a grip and eat your fucking scrambled eggs. What the fuck is going on in this F pod, bro? But he took a ruler to his fucking forehead and said, give me that cut. I'm so tired of it. Either they gonna have to do something or they gonna just have to shut the fuck up. Yeah. Damn, his inner Detroit boy is coming out. I like it. I like it. I like it. I, he seems like a nice guy, which he probably is. But dude, he's got to dig into that grimy Detroit fucking background, you know? Yeah. Oh my God, they know. For the first time, Dion is confronted by an inmate in C-Pod. I mean, dude, Dion's talking his shit right now. I can fucking respect to him. He's one of my new favorite people now. He's one of my new favorite people now that he's like stepping up like that. 100%. I didn't know it was you, bro. Oh. I'm not about to take this crap and I'm ready oh. to use my hands because in jail, you Are can't they respecting use words. him? Yo, W Dion. He made it in the shower and out and they fucking gave him that. Let's go. I love that. What? Returns? Well, we double checked to see if the check was good. We found out it had been altered. So we put her back in the same. No! No! Yo, what the fuck? Okay, so we all thought the, the shit fucked up. I knew there was more. I was like, dude, there's no way they just throw that shit away, bro. Does this count as an eye roll, by the way? What do I do with this? <laughs> Yo, it's like us. Yo, it's like, hey, we do that. Wait, what if it was the King Wolf stream? Unbelievable. Foot on the gas, bullets flying through that truck, and now we'll see as they surround the vehicle. I'm kind of at a conflict here. I know that you guys have a job to do, but I also kind of have an honor code myself. Buddy. You're a part of the 60 days in program. You're not a real inmate. What is he talking? Dude, he's getting brainwashed. He's switching sides. Who are you loyal to? Bunkies come first. Uh, you know, so um, that's pretty much how it goes. 
<laughs> yo, yo, he switched. He became a real fucking inmate. Concerns me that he's going rogue on us and he's siding with the inmates over the program. What Everybody the fuck? Oh shit. I'm, I'm starting to worry a little bit for your safety, to be honest with you. Yeah. I don't want you to think that, you know, Garza is your, your friend. I, I can also gauge things fairly well for myself. Oh, he basically said, fuck what you're saying to me right now. I don't feel like it's my, um, my liberty, my liberty to actually just start talking, spilling everything. The turn to the dark side is literally happening in front of our fucking eyes right now. He won't snitch on Garza. I'm kind of getting the vibe that you're getting a little bit too M80. Uh, maybe yeah. you're not thinking about the program as much as, as we would like for you to. You know what I'm talking about or? Not necessarily. He's complete. Hey, Chad, I think we lost him. Chad, I think we lost Ryan. I think he's too far gone at this point. You can't get all the good information in jail by sitting around and watching. I'm a field agent in here. There is an evil fucking soul speaking from his mouth right now. Something, dude, yeah, he looks evil. He's like starting to change. He's Ryan. Yeah, back up stuff. Yo, no way, they're moving him. Dion. Dion and Ryan are getting traded. Blockbuster internet breaking trade going on right now. If you challenge me, I'm gonna raise up. I'm not that bitch you wanna step to. <laughs> Damn. Just because you scream the loudest does not mean you win an argument. There's a lot of people in this world that need to be taught that fucking lesson. Just because they're the loudest doesn't mean you win shit, bro. <laughs> he tell me like the um, bed is full. I'm like, all right, man, f you then. <laughs> <laughs> what? Dion has unknowingly asked Garza to move into Ryan's old boy. Yo, the switcheroo. Wow. <laughs> And then Ryan takes Dion's old spot. <laughs> Dude, it's so weird. So Ashley takes her sweatshirt off. I'm okay. about to roll my sleeves up and whoop this little 19 year old chick. <laughs> oh shit. I know the vibe of something's coming. I know it's coming. Yeah, up. shit's brewing in this in this pod for sure. Um, and somebody's gonna get hurt. And so I'm letting them know right now, this is what's going on. She's snitching. Oh, Sherry. Sherry, and that's where the episode ends, dude. No. My goal was to start learning more about the people in D because they had gotten to a point where they had trusted me more. Dude, Ryan, I don't know if he is still in the right mindset, dude. This man thinks that he's he made best friends with his cellmates. He's so just brainwashed right now. I, I hate it, dude. It is a good thing, but there's a line. And I, he was definitely crossing the line. What's the name? Huff all day. Everything's huff day. Everything's day. report. Oh, shit. I just want to say something so bad. I have to just bite my tongue and be like, la, la, la. Officers don't find drugs in the cells or on the women, so they begin searching the day room. How did they not find anything? I'm so confused. Where could the shit be hiding, actually? Besides, like, one little thing in the fucking coffee cup. Dude, it actually is, like, prop hunt. You're looking for, like, the one sus little item that's in the fucking room. <laughs> It's right there. They're so close. Despite searching the cells and day room, the correction officers fail to find any contraband. Why don't they take every cup, spill it, dump it? Ah, oh, dude, it's so stressful, the fact that they're not doing that. Why aren't they dumping everything? Give me that, I give you a lighter. I like this place. Uh, the people here are cool. <laughs> He wants to be a prisoner so bad. He literally got moved into the worst pod. Like literally the worst one that's even worse than the other one. And he goes, dude, I like this place. Man, this guy's scary. Man gets a nutty bar and feels like he belongs here. <laughs> we specifically told all the undercover participants not to trade commissary. Oh, inside. Hey, my man's just trying to fit in. I, I, this is literally his like first day in there, second day in there. Give him a break. Maybe he'll act. Do you guys think he's going to get brainwashed again? I mean, I know he's in another pod, second pod. You guys going to think you guys think he's going to get brainwashed? 
I think he's just such an easy, he's easily persuaded. He already is gone. Okay. So you guys do agree. They found absolutely nothing. It is just so unreal to me. Yeah, that's crazy. I think we all know why we're here. Oh. You know what I mean? So. When they came to me. Damn. And they started to tell me, I was like, are you telling me what I think you're telling me? Wait, this is her first time learning. They're playing trios. It was do. It was solos. Now it's duos. Now it's trios. I'm playing trios and F pod now. Wow. Right? Wow. Oh, yeah. coming clean. Wow. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I don't know. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. Wait. Is she acting like she doesn't know? Or is she just like speaking hypothetically? Do you guys think she made the smart decision there? Keeping quiet, keeping to herself. She doesn't want to team up. She doesn't want to do any of that. She wants to like just get through it alone, not expose herself. I think it probably is. She left the party. <laughs> yeah, she lagged out, huh? She's already had beef with the, with the other one. Yeah, has she? I don't think she had beef with anyone. Passing the note is, yeah, the note passing. I think that really solidified which side she was on there. I know this is brother Alex and Willie running a pod store out of their bunks. Brothers Alex and Willie, whoa, they're brothers that are in there alone? Nah, we're talking about duos. That's real jail duos. And I could literally start making some huge moves in jail. <laughs> My man's worried about making money? He's gone. We lost him. Dad just confirmed it. Why does he want to go up the ranks? He's treating it like Call of Duty. Buddy wants to get Master Prestige prisoner. Oh, what we got? Oh, she hates it. Look at that. They're coming back. She's so mad. So guilty. I don't know how the cops don't read this shit. Read the fucking room, man. You can see how they react when you come in. So we decided to do the second raid to catch him off guard. Oh, W play. That's something new. I've never seen someone snitched on me. She's come to the conclusion that somebody snitched on her. The only person she has beef with right now is Mona Lisa. So now she's going to think Mona Lisa did the snitching and now we're going to have a problem. F pod drama. This is kind of what we wanted. This is what, hey, what I said at the beginning of this stream video, whatever you guys are watching right now. Hey! Oh my God. They didn't find a single thing. Angry Bird was just unleashing and unloading on everybody. She just pushes everybody's buttons. Angry Bird? She's she's going around calling other people Angry Bird. Look at her face. This guy's losing his fucking mind in prison. Is this the chameleon we saw the other day? Bitch, I'll beat your ass. You am right here. Oh! And then we're facing opportunity. Yo, Ashley versus Ashley. They're going crazy. Who's going to be the fucking ultimate Ashley of the pod? Do not tell me there's a third shakedown that's about to happen in the same episode. Sewer water is starting to flood several pods in the jail, creating a health emergency. Oh! Oh, hell nah. Oh, God. Nah, bro. Water oh! oh my god, I see the water coming out. What? That's it? That's crazy. Ew! Turn it on the floor right there. What is that? That was really, that was a uh, hot dog. Raw sewage with hot dogs has been flooding sea pod for three hours. I've never seen that before. Worms. What the f What? Bro, what is going on right now? Is the whole ecosystem coming through the fucking sewer? If I saw a leech, that is one of my like nightmare bugs. One thing that fixes it, then we'll come in and clean uh, it. We can't do anything until then. How about this? Listen up to the brain and squeeze it Wow. Wow. Holy fuck. Look at this guy. God damn. What do you think he's in for? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, this guy's scary as hell. Okay. <laughs> Dude, I thought a tampon was the fucking thing you put up there. What is that? Oh, that's the uh 
Those are one of the iPad things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I know, I knew it. Well, we only get two a month, so I figured I'd save my two for something special. <laughs> Why, wait, all the all the women in the chat are freaking out two a month. What's that mean? They only get two pads a month. How much are you supposed to get? I'm not a girl, so I don't I don't do this. I I have penis and I just I stand up to pee. What's the least amount that you would want for a month? 14? Damn, Chicken Little runs the pod. Look at him. The sky is falling. Stuart Little. But we ain't supposed to get mad about this. See, we ain't supposed to be upset about this. 11 hours? Quentin notices an inmate lying on the floor holding his stomach. Oh, God, I got to get ready for the switch, chat. Hey! He starts pointing to the lower right quadrant of his stomach. Oh, oh appendix? Dude, I had something wrong with my appendix one time, and my mom had to rush me to the hospital, and it was the one of the most painful things I've ever had to deal with. Every bump in the road hurt so bad. Every little rock that my mom ran over. Did you shit your pants? No, I didn't. Most likely has something like a ruptured appendix and he needs to get somewhere like now. Uh, these <laughs> don't care about this <laughs> Button! Button! Because of the sewage crisis, officers intend to move the women to one side's classification pod. <laughs> Not her. Not that motherfucker. Oh no! Uh oh, chat. And there was Mackenzie. <laughs> Three weeks. Maybe she won't remember. Hey, maybe she won't remember this shit. No, she's wild. Pull your shit together. Pull your shit together, Sherry. Next thing we know, she's gonna be ripping around the pod, right? Depot has been without running one for nine hours. Yeah, we holding that poop all day. And it's like, what do we do? He caught the shit poop. <laughs> Dude, he's been trying to get their attention for 15 minutes. Oh, shit. He most likely has appendicitis. He has rebound pain. You're a doctor? Huh? Yeah. Doctor. I'm a medic in the army. He needs okay, someone like that. Okay, we're already aware of him. Okay. Hey. Stop banging on doors. It's not good, though. It angered me. It made me want to actually just uh, throw in the towel and start hitting one of the guards. <laughs> yo, yo, Ryan is losing his shit. He is about to be full on master prestige. I'm relieved that he's getting some kind of medical attention. Okay. 12 minutes later. Right, is he buddy, back? Lay down, uh, lay down, okay? That's going to help you here. Give it about 20 more minutes. And it should be helping. Hey. What is going on here, bro? This guy loves feeling like he's in power. You can't talk shit and be like a hard ass when you look like you eat peanut butter out of the fucking jar every Saturday. Fucking ice, you fucking water. This fucking peanut butter mouth guy. <laughs> it's so funny. Sherry McKenzie will not spend the night in the same pot. Okay, Sherry, you can stop crying. That is amazing. I don't have to see her fucking crying face anymore. I love it. The inmates from C-Pod are being moved to rec room one where there's a drinking fountain and a toilet. And that's, wait, that's where they play like recess and shit and basketball and everything. Y'all see that? Yo, that's crazy that he's through the glass doing that. That's crazy. Oh no, that's some riot talk. Look at this guy. This guy's got murder on his fucking mind right now. It's us against them first. He's gonna start the riot, this guy right here. And she's fired up. Oh, something's gonna happen. I think we finally got some. Oh, she got the shoes on. Hey. Uh, whatever. Whatever. Oh. Uh, hey. Yo, way. I was like, man, I gotta just suffer through this. And like, I did want to quit. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I still been contemplating it because I'm like, man, this is terrible. I don't know how any of these guys didn't throw in the towel or put the put the towel around their neck in this situation. I'd be like, all right, man, I did, I did enough time. Let's do it. I'm out. Donzo, see ya. They didn't bring anything to drink because we don't have water. 
What? Hey, somebody go to the Walmart and get a fucking case of water. You know what I mean? It's not that hard. This is like so annoying and like really, really dumb and not needed. They enter the rec room and pull the crew out. If they want to potentially grab somebody, quote unquote, as a hostage, this is the point that it'll happen. Dude, they're fearing that they're going to keep a cameraman hostage. That's crazy, too. They decide to continue to film. W. W. Crew. They don't give a pick up a chair, Dude, this shit is building. Oh my God, this shit is building up. There's gonna be a riot. There's gonna be fights. Some crazy shit's about to happen. Dude, that looks like the motherfucker from Prison Break. You guys, are, have you guys seen Prison Break? That looks like uh, LJ, the fucking kid. Okay, the inmates have been moved out of their pods to temporary holding areas. They're literally losing their minds. They have not had water in 30 hours. Tension's high, the testosterone's going crazy. They're gonna wanna fight pretty soon. It's a unique environment. It's like a really bad camping trip with a bunch of violent homeless people with drug charges. <laughs> no one had had a shower. They smelled like- Oh, one of those things. Okay, yeah. I, I know what you're talking about. Tensions among the inmates mounting officers have tasers ready. Holy fuck, how many beeps were there? I just, I can't, bro. Every time I see him, when we watch the shit, I just... <sighs> the inmates in this jail wanted to rise up and take over the jail and take out all the guards. It's, it's, it's gonna happen. Oh, shit. Dude, something's gonna happen. She's like, the girl had lice. What? One of the girls gets lice? Oh, now all the girls are freaking out. Ew, dude. That's so gross. That's actually so gross to think about, bro. You have bugs in your hair laying a bunch of eggs so more bugs grow and hatch in your hair. It's like you're already in a terrible situation and they do nothing about it. Man, I gotta just suffer through this. There's no crying in jail? Yeah, I mean, that's why he waited till the fucking private room. <laughs> I had been bitten by something or something had happened to the back of my leg what I was like that's weird i went to feel i'm like there's something there what I said i'll take this to medical for you but i'm gonna be honest with you she's probably not gonna see you because it's not an emergency right now and there's a million other things going on listen man i get that they're like prisoners and shit but it, it, it's it confuses me they like really just don't want to take care of these people Hey, what are we doing here, Bob the Builder? Let's get some water in the fucking building. The sewers have been replaced. The water's back up and running. 36 hours. Water has been restored. <laughs> They're so happy right now. <laughs> kind of feels like home in a weird way. Weird up jail home. Dude, they've never been so happy to be in a jail cell. <laughs> I've never seen people so excited to go back to jail. What is that? Rice, beans, and sausage, I assume? With some lettuce and some cheese and a slice of bread. Oh, God. <laughs> How's that meal look, chat? At least this looks like I'd probably eat this. I like sausage. I like pizza. What? I have an unprecedented type of store. I have the only tray store. He's literally breaking a jail rule. Dude, you can't have a fucking store in jail. Is he gonna get more time for this? I think he's literally breaking a rule. Ron's putting himself in a very dangerous place right now. <laughs> if somebody owes him a debt, if he doesn't collect on that debt, all the other inmates in that section are gonna look at him as weak. And now he's becoming a, a, what, a boxing trainer? My man's at home right now. He's a prisoner. He has never felt more comfortable in his life. What the well, fuck? How often have you kept in touch with my family while I've been locked up? Zach? Oh my god! Multiple times. Baby, I've talked to your mom every day. Oh my god, there's always a problem. God, just stop calling him. Why is he the one you're calling? He hasn't given a shit about you since the beginning. L husband's in the chat. Because this man got it easy when he was in here season one. And now he thinks it's a fucking walk in the park every time. And he's not hes not giving her any attention, any love. He always has to start a problem. This is a lot scarier than the war. I promise you that. Oh! No, it isn't. I promise you that. 
Oh! What the fuck? Nah, they're gonna... Oh my god, he's comparing war with jail. Dude, this guy is act like an actual piece of shit. I'll say, I'll straight up say he's a piece of shit, dude. This marriage is falling apart literally right in front of our eyes right now. The chance to maybe mentor. What laugh are you guys talking about? <laughs> what a crazy chance that I clicked it perfectly. <laughs> Sick of being in my butt. Wait, what are we doing? I need to finish this out for myself. Like, this is part of the rest of my life. After all this, then she has to go home to Zach. <laughs> like, dude, this is re she's really in a tough spot right now for sure. After speaking with the producers, Ashley decides she doesn't need medical attention. Are you sure, Ashley? Because I don't know, it sounds pretty bad. <laughs> what do you say? What do you call him? Oh, God damn it. I was like, what word could that be right now? Yeah, Dirty Mike, he said grandpa. You're right. Gucci flip-flops. <laughs> Who sleeps in the Wait, someone's sleeping in the- They're acting like they're gonna whoop ass, but really they saw. Oh I shit, Dion! I feel like Dion could low-key whoop some ass, bro. No, no, no. He's from Detroit. He's a Detroit boy. I like. I feel like he's nice until he cracks, dude. And, and we saw him in the other pod when he like took over that bathroom and was like, "You're not telling me what to do, dude." They didn't do shit. He went in there and like manned up to them, and he they didn't even mess with him. Here he goes. I definitely don't have a problem defending myself. Here he goes. No. <laughs> I didn't flush on purpose just to piss him off because I'm like, dude, I would what? Come here if I want to. <laughs> Yo, let me get a W in the chat for Dion, bro. Let me get a W. He's got balls, man. He goes in there and doesn't flush on purpose. I need a dub in the chat. Wow. I love Dion. Sheree, Jesse, and I were all in my room talking about Damaris. I'm gonna f my room. The inmates head to Demaris's room to search for her paperwork. What'd she do? Wait, 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 bro. Wait, 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 wait. wait. She beat a minor's ass? What the fuck? How'd she get in this pod? Oh, no. No. There's a new girl. She abuses children. She's gonna get fucked up. All right, so we are on season two, episode 11. Yeah, child. A child. The women have learned that new inmate Damaris is facing a felony charge for neglect of a department resulting in serious injury. Six months old. Oh my fucking God. What is department? Yeah, I didn't understand. I felt like I was just too dumb to like understand what the text was saying. Was that like weird text? Why did it say department? What does that mean? Oh, it said dependent. Oh, so that's why it didn't make sense. Tommy, uh, Tommy cut that. You know what I mean? Tommy, <laughs> yo, Tommy cut that shit, you know? Yo, <laughs> yo. This man's just selling all of his trays. Ryan has been trading away his trays for commissary. He then resells some of the items to other inmates. Basically, if you owe something, you have to pay it back. If you don't pay it back, Jesus, whatever happens man. to you, happens to you. Justin is in debt to inmate Jojo. Uh-oh. Well, Ryan was in deep pot, an inmate was lashed for failing to settle his debts. Guys, remember when you got whipped with the towel and shit? Remember that? Jojo tells Justin to follow him into a cell. Oh, God. Hey, let's get an F in the chat for our boy Justin here. Oh! No way. He's already calling for fucking help. Dude! Okay, so he didn't get help. He's not getting out of the pod. He just literally put the biggest possible target on his back. What do I think is gonna happen to him? I think he's gonna get his ass beat. That's what I think. 
pack your stuff. Whoa, Dion has been called for release from D Pod. Whoa, is he out? People sitting here trying to shake my hand. I'm like, look, man, I'm trying to pack up and get the hell out of here. Like, please leave me alone. Wait, he shaved his head? Oh my God, Daryl shaved his fucking head. Wow, that's crazy. Dion is transferred to booking where he will wait to be processed for release. Yo, Dion's out of this bitch. She's really wound up right now. She's she's upset. I'm actually really concerned for her right now. Wait, why why is her hair black and shit? What the, f wait, what is going on? She's what? Like, I feel like I could seriously, seriously hurt someone right now. Dude, Ashley's gonna lose her mind. Ashley's gonna lose her mind. She's losing her mind. It's so much, oh shit. It's so much like built up bullshit. Come here, come up here. You're okay, come Oh. Here. Bro, what is happening? I'm so confused. Are they recruiting her? What is going on? Are you guys as confused as I am? Please tell me I'm not the only one. Mona Lisa Wilson. Oh, wow. Everyone's getting yanked. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> She's standing there like, wait, wait, why do you get to go in? Why don't I get to go? <laughs> Look at the way she's standing in the doorway. Are the phones off? Because if they're not off, that means she ain't going to New York. Are they on? They're on. She ain't going nowhere but home. Wow. They caught on that she's a goddamn plant. Mona Lisa, you better hope you don't run into any of these prisoners outside of the actual prison. I'd be so paranoid. I'd be like, bro, what if I run into, you know, Justin from Pod C? What if I run into, uh, what's his name? What was the cool guy's name? Garza? What if I see Garza in a Walmart when I'm looking for groceries? Ash is starting to panic. I don't know what we're supposed to do now because they're going to start looking for the next plant and we're still in there and I don't even know when we're getting out. Mona Lisa, Quentin, and Dion are all being released together. <laughs> My man looks like a retired cop. Quentin and Dion were in the same pod for part of their time in jail, but were unaware they were both part of the program. Are they going to see each other now and then they're going to like hug or something? Yo, they're out. The outside world. Oh, regular food? Man. That's got to be great. That's a good orange. Or a tangerine, I'm not sure. But it's good citrus. That's a good orange. That's good citrus. Now that you're out, what are you going to do first? Some hygiene. I, I really need to take care of some hygiene. Yeah. Literally, dude, I don't shower for one day and I fucking lose my mind. If I don't shower every day, I lose my mind. So I cannot imagine, like, taking shitty little dumpster fire showers in that prison or jail or whatever. whatever. That's got to feel so good. Quentin meets with Sheriff Noel and Captain Mables to give feedback on the jail. Dr. Jennifer, Jennifer Ortiz, a criminology expert, joins them for a debrief. The prisoners decided who got to use the cells, who got bunks, who got access to showers. Your staff could have controlled that. One thing, if you didn't do anything else, the guards threaten people and don't follow up. Do you guys think that these COs, sheriffs, everybody, do you think they're gonna actually change shit depending on what the contestants tell them? I wanna see before the contestants went and after and see if they, anything changed. Any policies, see if they add more people that, that are running like the night shift. Because remember they said that there's only two COs in the whole jail that run the night shift. There's only two of them. The prisoners could literally take over. The inmates don't want Damaris to contact the guards, and it's not because they've changed their mind about her. It's because they've got a new shipment of drugs coming in. That's, That's coming why, in. dude. We all thought they were, like, recruiting her or something, but it's because they don't want to be triggered about the drugs. Oh! Shit might go down right here. No. No. Are we going? No way he's doing it again. 
Dude, he presses the emergency call a second time? There's no fucking way. He pressed the button, nobody answered. <laughs> Jojo sends another inmate to pull Justin into his room to fight. Oh, fuck. Oh, Mona Lisa. Um, yeah, she's probably gonna cry. She's probably gonna cry. Roll her eyes a couple times. Probably gonna cry. Wow, she moved after all that. Wait, that is the biggest bitch move I've ever seen you make? What? We're up there with them until 4 30 in the morning. Before you clock in the morning, we just did Oh no. Oh no. Now two of the contestants are fighting. You know what started all of this stress? Fucking Zach. Because Zach isn't being a good husband through the phone. She doesn't have an outlet. It's his fucking fault. This whole thing. After her falling out with Sherry, Ashley calls her husband. Oh no. Do you like my uh, dirty talk in the emails? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> nah. Nah, dude. What do you think his dirty talk was? I would love if we were totally just kissing right now. I'm a week in Vegas looking for a job to support my family. You can drop it attitude and drop this bitchiness oh buddy oh buddy you are digging yourself a fucking hole wow we hate him we hate him we hate zach can i get a fuck zach in the chat i don't give a shit get a fuck zach in the chat i need a wall of just fuck zach let me get a wall of fuck zach bro. <laughs> this guy's a piece of shit Maybe. Conversation. Be a the whole thing. i hate you Chat, I'm actually speechless. I'm actually speechless after that. So I've gotten word that these drugs are coming in through the laundry, but I need to see it for myself. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the bag. You wore them like booty shorts. Yo. Oh, no fucking way she gets drugs so in the mail. Now I've got confirmation. Drugs are coming into the pod through the mail. Dead bag agent Ryan. Dead bag. Ryan. Yes. Yes. He became a real fucking inmate, bro. Sherry's gonna cry. Ashley's gonna go get a divorce. Uh, how many times do you think he slept with his neighbor throughout this whole 60 days? How many times? 60. Okay. <laughs> he was sleeping with the neighbor, bro. I, I, I know. I just, I get this feeling. Well, that's why I ask you, because I can tell you're different. How so? Your language. I had to do that. I had to start messing some things up. As a result, I feel dumber, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna read every book that I can. <laughs> he feels like an idiot, no? It's kind of like being in a psych ward. Our shakedowns clearly <laughs> They're like, shit, issues. our jail the sucks. Started. Sherry gives the sheriff the names of the corrections officers who, who, oh, whose performance she found inadequate. Oh my God, what's gonna happen? You open up the tampon things, you push them out, and there's all your pills. Whoa. I think her information so far is the most valuable. I think her information's the best. I know we give Sherry a lot of shit just for fun, but uh, that was W info for sure. Leaving him definitely crossed my mind. Wow, it crossed her mind and she admitted it. Oh my God. He will now reveal the project to the rest of his staff. So yeah, I mean, even most of the staff didn't know that these people were undercover. What we decided to do was to put people in jail that had never been incarcerated before undercover for up to 60 days. Wow. There might be some familiar faces here. Oh, they, they reveal them? The only people that were aware of this program were myself, Captain Maples, and a few other people in the staff. Dude, was... everyone's like sipping from their drinks. Everyone's like looking at each other. They're so scared because they feel like they fucked up somehow. And they're, they're, they're like running the past 60 days through their heads. And they're like, what did I do wrong? Miriam's a daughter of Muhammad Ali. And she gave us- That's crazy. The f season one, she was in here and she's the daughter of Muhammad Ali. Here we are. Wow, they're like, yo. This is Brian, he's an attorney. He lasted 24 hours in the pod because he got bullied for being a geek. Wow. That's it. 
that's it. That is a wrap. Season two. You know we're ripping season three. You know we are. You, we're doing four, three, four, five, six, whatever the fuck it goes to. See you guys in season three.